As suspended JDS leader Prajwal Rivana continues to stay in custody in the Karnataka sex crimes case, another shocking case emerges from the family. The Karnataka police have arrested JDS leader Suraj Rivana, the brother of suspended MP Prajwal Rivana, on sexual assault charges after a party worker filed a complaint against him. The arrest follows a case filed by a JDS worker at a police station in Hassan accusing Suraj of sexually assaulting him at his farmhouse. On June 16, the JDS worker also said he was sexually assaulted by Suraj. For more on this, we also have Veera Raghav joining us. Uh, Veera, if you could tell us when was the arrest executed and what are the details of the case? Uh, Aditi, as you mentioned, uh, the complaint that was filed against Suraj Prevana was uh, by a 27-year-old JDS male worker who accuses in his complaint that Suraj Revanna invited him to a farmhouse on the 16th of June, sexually assaulted him in that farmhouse and then threatened threatened him uh, of dire consequences if he revealed, the, uh, revealed this assault in public. That's the allegation that was made by a 27-year-old uh, JDS worker against Suraj Revanna, who's 36 years old. He's a JDS MLC and, as you mentioned, brother of Prajwal Revanna, son of H.D. Revanna, the Holy Narsipur MLA, also a grandson of H.D. Devagauda. Uh, Suraj Revanna and his aide have filed a counter complaint. They had filed a complaint saying this is a case, false case, uh, filed against them uh, with the intent to extort money. They accused the uh, alleged victim of demanding uh, up to five crores from uh, Suraj Revanna to uh, end this case. So there are two complaints that was filed. Last evening, the police in Hassan had uh, picked up uh, Suraj Revanna for questioning, after which an arrest was uh, shown. He is right now been arrested by the Hassan police and is in Hassan. We'll have to wait and see how this case plays out. But these are the facts for the moment. Right. And Veera, if you could also tell us what is the position of Suraj Revanna now? Uh, as I mentioned, Aditi, Suraj Revanna uh, has said that this is a false case filed against him with the intention of extortion. Uh, of course, the police have filed a case under unnatural offences, Section 377, criminal intimidation and uh, also wrongful confinement. So uh, these are the charges that the police have filed against Suraj Revanna. Suraj Revanna's aide, Shivakumar, has filed a complaint saying that uh, the alleged victim in this case had actually demanded a ransom. He says it's a political targeting of the JDS MLC. That's the Suraj Revanna position. And as far as the, the you know this case is concerned, remember, it comes as a major embarrassment for the family. Uh, in the backdrop of the Prajwal Revanna's, uh, you know, uh, accusations of rape against Prajwal Revanna. Right. Veera, if you could also tell us what further action will be taken by the police, will this now be clubbed with Prajwal Revanna case? That's an important question, Aditi. We don't know how this will proceed further as far as the police is concerned. At the moment, it's the Hassan police which is uh, dealing with this case. Remember, Prajwal Revana case is being dealt with by a special investigation investigating team in Bengaluru, which is probing his mother, Bhavani Revana, and his father, H.D. Revana, in this case. Now, uh, this case is at the moment being dealt with by the Hassan police. Uh, remember, the charges and the case itself is very different from the Prajwal uh, Revana videos and rape case. So, we'll have to wait and see how this will uh, proceed further, uh, what kind of reactions come into this case, and how the police will look at it, given that there is also a strong counter complaint that's uh, accusing the JDS worker of uh, actually using a uh, filing a false case for extortion. So it will be interesting to see how the police approach this case. Right, Veera Raghav, thank you for joining us and giving us those inputs.